on to today, I'm going to be doing a Q&A video and I asked you all on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, basically everywhere just to ask me whatever you want. I haven't done a Q&A video in the longest time so I thought I'd do one and obviously the dog is next to me so I'm really sorry if she's annoying but she won't leave my side so it's either here or trapped somewhere upstairs and her crying so here's best for me. It looks like we're just going to be sat on my knee. I know we're not going on the laptop. No. Let's not. Let's not start licking either. Yeah. Let's stop that. If you are new here, please, please, please subscribe to my channel because that would mean the world to me. The button will be down here somewhere. Okay, so I do have quite a lot of questions and I have written them all down in here. A lot of them are some questions that I've been asked a lot of times, like the whole how did YouTube start, all that sort of thing. So if you do want to see those questions answered, please check out my older Q&A videos because you will see them sorts of questions in them videos. I've basically just picked out questions that I've never answered before. So, well, I think that I've never answered anyway. So the first one is, any job in, if you could have any job in the world, what would it be? I would definitely all either have been sort of a nurse and... I don't know, I think I'm quite good with like needles and blood and all that sort of thing, like it just doesn't bother me at all. I'd either be something like that but I mean it's hard work and the hours are hard work being a nurse out there so I do have a lot of respect for people who work in hospitals. Or either a vet because I absolutely adore animals and I prefer animals to people. What is the one thing we wish we had been told before getting a dog? We do have quite, well we, I have quite a lot of questions about the dog. Um, I don't know, it's a hard one really. <sighs> Maybe how much she molts. I mean, I know she's short haired and I knew this before we got her, but she molts a lot. Like a lot. And her hairs are all over my clothes, all over the sofa, they're just everywhere. So that isn't brilliant about having a dog, but I literally would not change her for the world. She's just amazing. Who is your favourite makeup artist on Instagram and or YouTube? To be honest, I have got so many. I've got three like top YouTubers who I watch. Not necessarily makeup artists, but sort of makeup influencers. I suppose they are makeup artists. I don't really know. Um, I watch Sabrina, um, Jamie Genevieve and Shannon. So I will leave all of them down below. But I'm pretty sure you know who all three of them are because they're all very well known. Uh, but they are like, a lot of YouTubers I find myself, I literally like, can you stop doing that next to me? I find very hard to watch and those three for me are like three YouTubers that I could just sit and watch all day and I literally enjoy all the videos. Like whatever they do, they could be just vlogging, they could be doing a makeup tutorial, anything and I will literally watch their videos like religiously. Um, Instagram, probably the same, like I follow all them on Instagram and I love everything that they post but... I also love um, Mitchell's work on Instagram, who I think is m -m -m -m, like loads of M's before, Mitchell. Um, I don't know, there's so many people on Instagram who I love because there's just like, there's so many talented makeup artists these days, they're just everywhere. So yeah, there's a lot of Instagram makeup people who I do like as well and take a lot of my inspiration from myself because I'm a bit rubbish of thinking of like makeup looks. Can you stop licking the laptop please? Yeah, I find it really hard to sort of think of makeup looks myself sometimes. This one I just sort of threw together but like if it's a really sort of in-depth, I don't know, colourful makeup tutorial, not tutorial look, I do find it hard to think of myself. So I do take a lot of inspiration of people who I follow on Instagram. Someone asked me what my job is. Um, I'm sure most of you know this, I'm sure I've said it before, but I'm a beauty therapist, so um, there is another question actually that says what treatments do I do and would I ever incorporate them like on my YouTube channel. Um, so basically at work I do nails, like toenails, pedicures, whatever you want to call it, um, massage, facials, I'm trained in LMS, so you could be doing Dermalogica, LMS, whatever, so, but I do, I specifically do um, Elemis facials and like crystal clears, I do them as well, like microdermabrasions and we're actually going into skin peels at the minute. By the way, that's the dog making the noise, it's not my bum. Spray tans, uh, waxing, eyebrows, eyelashes, so I literally do everything in the salon. Um, I probably wouldn't ever incorporate them on my YouTube channel just because you sort of have to do them on someone else and I don't really get that many people into my YouTube videos, so yeah, that's my job, I'm a beauty therapist. Uh, what are the best and worst things about having a dog? So, like I said before, probably the worst thing for me is the molting. Um, I'm trying to think what else. 
obviously the toilet training is not easy but she's still a puppy I can't expect her to just be like perfect and weeing outside all the time although 95% of the time she does wee outside we have the odd accident but she's still a puppy the best thing this is just gonna sound soppy but it's just everything I absolutely love having a dog like when we come running home and she's jumping all over us and she's so giddy to see us and she's just amazing she's so cuddly and she's like my best friend she's just beautiful then I also got a question on how we decided on the name Connie for the dog and it was very hard we literally went through every name in the alphabet and I don't know how people pick names for their actual children because picking the name for the dog was hard enough um, I actually was watching a program I can't remember what it was and there was an Asian lady with a name I can't remember what it was but it just reminded me of the name Connie and then I said to Sam I was like what about Connie he was like yeah and then it was that's where Connie came from. I've got a few about tattoos and piercings. Any tattoos for the future or piercings? Uh, no tattoos for the future. I'm just not a tattoo person. I don't think I'd suit them. I wouldn't know what to get. For me, I just don't personally, personally like tattoos. I mean, I don't, I think I look at other people and they look lovely with them and, but me, they're just not for me. And I'm a wimp with pain, so it's just, no. Just no tattoos for me. Um, piercings, I don't really have any plans to get any more. I think I'm getting a bit older now, you know, I'm 24. I don't, I don't, I know that's a bit of a stupid thing to say because everyone can still get piercings when they're older, but I don't know. I think I've gone through that phase and there's not really much left for me to get, to be honest. I mean, I've got tons. So, best memory of 2017, and that was definitely getting our own house and the dog. They were just the highlights of our year I suppose. Um, does Sam find it intimidating that you are older than him? I don't think so. I mean we're I'm only three years older than him. I'm 24, he's 21. Um I don't I wouldn't say he finds it intimidating. I think I'm a lot more mature than him. Uh, don't know if that's just because it's boy and girl or I don't know. I think I'm a lot more mature than him but you know I don't think he finds it intimidating. It's no different for me really so how did we meet? Um, huh, funny story. So, there used to be this like club near our house um, that everyone in our sort of area just always went to. Then it got closed down like last year, but anyway, that's a different story. So, we were on a night out once and I was with my friends, he was with his friends, and I didn't know him at this point. And we was in the takeaway and my friend knew him and all his friends. And he was eating some chicken and my friend decided to start recording him eating his chicken on Snapchat and he got really angry and then threw his chicken on the floor then he added me on Facebook and I never actually noticed he'd added me on Facebook because I don't accept people that I don't know and I looked and I was like oh he's added me on Facebook and then we just started talking and then rest is history so yeah heard it here first me and Sam met in a chicken shop got this question quite a lot as well where in the world would you live if you could live anywhere and to be honest, I've not travelled to that many different countries, but I would love to live in America. I just think their way of life is so much better than ours. They've got, you know, the massive houses that are obviously a lot cheaper than ours. Um, yeah, it's just, I'd love to live in America. I'd love to, I've been before and it was a long time ago, so I'd love to go back on holiday to America. What is the best thing about having your own house? I think it's definitely just having your own space. Like, I don't know, you can, when you're going on a night out with your friends, you can just bring all your friends around and, you know, all meet here and have a few drinks, that sort of thing. Or if you're not going anywhere and you want a cheap night, but you would still want to do something, all your friends can come around. I don't know, it's really nice just to have your own space. And there's a question below here that says, is it easier or harder living with Sam? See, me and Sam used to see each other every single day anyway. We had, like, a routine of, when I stayed at him and what, his house and when he stayed at my house so we saw each other every day anyway so that's not really any different so for me personally it is easier living with Sam because we don't have the travelling of going to each other's house I mean we only live 10-15 minutes apart but we didn't have we don't like have to travel to each other's houses and leave all those clothes and stuff at each other's houses we're all just in one place so yeah it's definitely so much easier any kids in the future I've said this a million times before and people never believe me but I just do not want children. I have never wanted children. I'm not maternal. I'm too selfish. 
if you've seen my previous Q&A's, I'll have answered this before, that I don't want children. I mean, I've got the dog, that's all I need, so no plans for children anytime soon or in the near future for me, personally. I've got two YouTube related questions. Um, one says, what is your YouTube highlight? Um, I don't really know. I feel like a few years ago, I was... Like now, I feel like every single person does YouTube and it is so hard to get any views, it's so hard for your subscribers to go up. I mean, I've been on 69,000 subscribers for the past two years. My subscribers just do not move and obviously I appreciate every single one of you that is on here. Um, but my channel doesn't really seem to grow and I just think so many people do YouTube these days and so many people are better at makeup and stuff than me. and you know, have more time dedicated to do YouTube. I mean, I try to get one video done at least once a week. Um, but yeah, it's it's hard now. It's very hard to get sort of noticed and to be where you want to be. But yeah, Connie's just trying to chew all my questions, which is why I'm trying to pull everything away from her. But I think definitely my YouTube highlight was probably when it was just like, I don't know. It was just, at one point it was just everything to me and I absolutely, I mean, don't get me wrong, I still love doing it and I'm still dedicated to doing it even though my channel doesn't really grow that much. Um, but yeah, it's, I don't know, I don't really have a specific highlight, I suppose. Um, I think a highlight for me though, in general, like on the whole sort of career, is obviously getting noticed. It's not just by brands, but by other YouTubers or Instagrammers, and that's really nice, but... This year or last year, definitely my highlight was getting noticed by NYX and they are like one of the biggest makeup companies and getting noticed by a company as big as them, like I've never, the feeling inside when you see the email, you're like, oh my god, how do they know who I am? That was, you know, a highlight for me. And then another one says, well, I've mixed all my questions up now because Connie was chewing them, um, would you ever consider YouTube a job? I literally cannot consider YouTube a job because I don't earn enough money to even pay, I don't know, a gas bill a month from YouTube. It could never be considered a job. At one point, I did consider it my job because I was earning enough a month to keep me going. But I don't even earn, some months I don't earn anything from YouTube, like nothing. Um, so it's definitely not a job for me and I'm not in it for the money because I don't really get money from it. And if I do, I'll tell you now, it's under the £100 mark and that's probably every other month. So I don't earn money from YouTube like a lot of people do. So it's definitely not a job for me. It's more of a hobby. I'd love one day for it to be my job. But, you know, with so many people, like I said, on YouTube now and so many people that... Um, better than me I suppose, they've got more equipment, they're better at makeup, all that sort of thing, that is their job and I would love to be at that level but don't get me wrong, it's, it's just not going to happen is it? Favourite makeup item from 2017? This is probably the hardest question because I cannot like pick one favourite item. I feel like in 2017 I've experienced a lot more with makeup, I've dared to do more looks and post them on my Instagram whereas before I was like I am so shit at makeup I'm not putting them on Instagram people will laugh at me and never get seen and I feel like the more I've been practicing the better I've been getting I mean don't get me wrong I'm not you know the best makeup person in the world I don't consider myself really good at makeup but I enjoy doing different makeup looks and posting them sort of on my Instagram and I'd love to do more YouTube videos like makeup YouTube videos so please let me know if you would like that um but yeah I don't really have a favourite makeup product. I think just makeup in general has become a big part of me in 2017. And the last question I got over and over and over again was advice on getting your first house. Well, let me close the book because I could be here all day. If you are buying your first house, it is very, very, very stressful. Like, very stressful. If you've seen my moving vlogs, uh, you might have you'll sort of know the whole situation that we went through to get the house and all that sort of thing. But I would definitely say advice just to save as much as you can because obviously you've got your deposit for the house which that's where a lot of people can't buy their own house and they choose to rent instead because they don't have the deposit. Like the deposit money is a lot of money, like a lot of money. Luckily 
we had it and you know we've used the deposit but what they don't tell you is when you're buying a house you've got your solicitor that you've got to pay for you have to have a solicitor when you're buying a house so you've got all them fees and um, you've got to have searches done on the house which costs a lot of money and um, your searches are to say whether your house is in like a good condition to buy or if there's anything that needs doing on the house that sort of thing so you've got all that to bear in mind that is a lot of money just there but obviously you've got all your furniture to buy which that comes up to a lot of money if the house needs work then that's going to cost a lot of money luckily our house didn't and we do have stuff that we want to get done this year now that we're moved in and settled we do have some stuff that we do want to get done on the house but once we're back on top of the money because obviously it's just been christmas we're both absolutely skint so yeah once we get back on top of the money we've got a lot of things we want to do with the house you've got to make a lot of sacrifices to get a house you know we don't go out as much anymore and sam had to get rid of his nice car and have a banger so you know you've got to have these sacrifices if you are going to buy your own house so it is really really stressful and it is probably the hardest thing we've gone through as a couple but once you get there it's definitely worth it in the end and if you're going to buy your own house definitely persevere with it because i know what the stress is like and it's so easy to just think you know what i don't want to do it anymore but just persevere with it and it is the best thing you'll ever do. So thank you for sending me over all your questions everyone. If you do want me to do more Q&As in the future please do let me know in the comments section and I will do some more. Um, but I try to do them um, sort of every so often and keep you all updated on just life basically. Um, so yeah please follow my Instagram, Twitter and Facebook if you don't already. They will all be in the down bar and I will see you all in my next video everyone. Bye!